Hi, I'm Mark Logan, uh, VP of Product, and Product Development at uh, Merge Healthcare. I'm going to show you uh, eFilm for iPhone today. So this is the uh, login page for the phone. You, uh, you have a pin to control access. Without the pin, no one can get in and no one can see any of the studies on the phone. When you sign in, you get a list of all of the eFilm workstations that you're connected to. So these are all workstations that are just out somewhere on the network. Um, you don't have to be on the same network. It works on 3G connection. It works on a wireless connection. Whatever connection to the internet you have will work fine. Um, you select one of the workstations that you want to connect to and you automatically get a list of all of the studies that are on that workstation. Okay. You can do searching by study date time. Sorry. You can search for a particular modality or by patient name. Studies are sorted by patient. If there's more than one study for a particular patient, they're grouped with the patient so you can actually scroll over and see the multiple studies. Okay. To open a study, let me just find, here's one that I actually have. Uh, let's try this one. Click on the, the study, you get a list of the series for that study and thumbnails for each of them. From this page, you're actually able to click this button and get a list of DICOM destinations from eFilm Workstation. And by selecting one, you can tell your eFilm Workstation to send it to that destination. So you may want to do that if you're sitting at home at night and you're looking through all your studies that are on your workstation. You say, wait a second, this one needs to be read right now. So you could actually send it to the radiologist on call or whoever's reading right now. And they could read it right away. When you select a a series, you can click on it and it actually goes and downloads the study. You can see this is a, an MR downloading, you get the progress bar there. And then you're able to scroll through quite quickly. Okay, We have two finger pan, uh, for zoom, you can pan around with the one finger. We also have uh, window level and double tap takes it back. And then you have, sorry, the actual study information is available. Okay. By selecting one of these little buttons here, you can actually download to a study gallery, so it's available offline. So again, it just, you can watch it download. You get the progress bar. When it's finished downloading, that's saved on the phone, so it's ready for offline viewing, even if you have no network and connectivity. Okay, we'll just let that finish. You can go in and view it actually while that's coming down too if you want. There we go. So again, same thing. You can scroll. Sorry, hard to scroll from the wrong angle on these things. Scroll through the study. The other thing that you're able to do, this, again, this is the study list from the phone. From eFilm, you can actually set the permission levels for the connection. So you can make a connection and limit it so that the iPhone can see nothing. So that may work for a referring physician. So what you would get on here is a list, you'd be empty, and then patient per patient on eFilm, you can grant permission to see studies. So a radiologist could grant a referring physician access to their study list um, one patient at a time and then retract it after they've seen it. So the referring physicians can get instant access to their studies as they would like. Um, the other uh, the other use is uh, possibly if um, radiologists are not at the office and a uh, technician needs to check with the radiologist before the study, uh, before the patient can go home, uh, the radiologist can access the workstation of the technician and look at the study and decide if the patient moved or whatever and, and either tell them to go home or to redo the study.